So, in this short video I'm going to show you how to use the dictation activity which is uh, extremely helpful for language uh, teachers who would like to test the knowledge acquisition of their students and uh, help them practice their listening and writing skills. This particular uh, activity is pretty new and uh, it enables teachers who use the H5P tool to add their own recordings and uh, or find recordings online and then upload them and then ask students to enter the correct transcription based on the audio file they have just heard. So let's begin and find out how to do that. If you use a Moodle as your learning management system, the process is like this. First, you click Add an Activity Resource, find the Interactive Content uh, Activity, and click on the Add button. Okay, uh, you are prompted to a new page. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is find out the type of the activity. The type of the activity is called dictation. Okay, we have just found it. And by clicking on it, the teacher can now begin editing and adding uh, the audio files and the transcription on uh, the activity itself. So, we need to full screen this module, okay, like this, and the first thing that one must do is uh, actually give uh, the activity a proper title. Let's call it Demo Listening Activity. Okay. Then comes the description. As you see, there is an asterisk, which means that uh, it's uh, obligatory to type something here in order for your students to understand what they have to do. If you leave it blank, uh, it will automatically add this sentence. Okay, listen carefully and type what you have just heard. Heard, sorry. <laughs> okay, cool. So, we can add descriptions for this particular uh, sentence that we want our students to type. As you see, we can add multiple sentences. Let's call it sentence number one. There is no asterisk, so there is no need to do that, but for our, con for our own convenience, we have just added a number. Now, sentence spoken in normal speed for our first sentence. We click the Add File button. And we can either upload an audio file we have uh, stored on our hard drive, we can find uh, a link online and copy and then paste it in this uh, field, or we can record ourselves. Whatever you choose, uh, this uh, whole thing works flawlessly. So let's record ourselves. Okay. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Okay, if we are content with the sentence, we click the finish button, this green button over here. We should hear it, of course. The quick brown. Okay. Let's suppose we are content with this particular sentence and then we click the insert button. If we are not happy, with the result, we can always click the reset button and re-record our voice. So, we click insert. Okay. Now, we should type what the student is asked to type down when, actually after, he or she listens to the audio file. The quick brown oops the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog we can always add a full stop 
Oh, I forgot to mention that it is possible, it is viable to add uh, uh, the sentence, the sentence we have just recorded, in slow speed uh, if we want to ha give an extra helping hand to our students. But for this particular example, we are going to skip this uh, availability. Okay, this is the feedback is uh, has to do with uh, Moodle score. Okay, we don't care about it. Let's move on to the behavioral settings. Now we can uh, set how many times we would like to give the students uh, the possibility to listen to the audio file. Let's say three times. Okay, same applies here if we have uh, used the slow speed option. We can click that if we would like to ignore any punctuation marks the student has uh, done. Some typos, value of typos for the score. Okay, let's keep everything else. We should enable retry, show solution. Okay, and then we click save. Okay, let's see the final product. We click save and display. We don't care about the rest since I know many of you don't actually use uh, Moodle to don't use H5P inside Moodle but on other platforms as well so let's click save and display okay so what the student has to do is this the student clicks on the audio icon the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog okay as we have said the student can listen to this audio file two more times when the student is ready can always type the answer that he or she believes it's right the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog let's skip the punctuation mark and click check okay we have made zero mistakes because, as you remember, we denied uh, the error when the student ignores, actually forgets to add the punctuation mark. You can click the show solution button. And as we said, a pretty useful activity, fits well for uh, language courses. I strongly suggest to use it. Thank you for watching.